Hey guys, it's Jiggy Connor. We are back from Earthbound, and this part is going to be very boring. No, I am not lying. Now we are going to uh, go behind the falls right here. Save the password. Now he says that, and we got to be absolutely quiet. Not press anything on the controller. Do nothing for three minutes. I'm not kidding. Just like Mr. Saturn was telling us, we can't do anything for three minutes. So yeah. Um, we're just gonna sit here and talk. Watch the falls. The falls actually get pretty hypnotic if you just stare into them for three minutes, though, so if you guys wanna trip out, go ahead and do that. Anyway, um, so. Haven't been playing much lately, you know, like I was saying. Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, you start in Kingdom Hearts 1, because I like it a lot. Um,. I guess I could always do some impressions for you guys in the meantime. It's a me, Mario. Let's see. Greetings and salutations. It is a me, Wario, and I'm here to remind you to have a rotten day. Uh, let me think of another one. Super Mario Galaxy. Woohoo! Um. Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! Let me think of another one. Even though I didn't even say it in this game. Super Mario 64 this! Woohoo! Let me think. Uh, what is another impression I can do? Um. Well, that's a good question. I can't really think of any. I can do a lot of impressions, though. I guess I could always do Sonic's new voice actor, Jason Griffith. Now I'll show you! You're too slow! Alright, whatever. Still, seriously, it does sound like he goes like, Now I'll show you! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um. So yeah, we had to record, uh, those of you who turned into Warp Zone. Um, we actually had to record Warp Zone twice this week, because Storm's computer froze on the first take. It's not Storm's fault at all, don't blame him or anything like that. He's been really beating himself up over it. I really don't want him to, because it wasn't his fault at all. Um, God, this is taking forever. We've still got like, another minute to go. Let's start singing! Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorb it in yellow and porous as he SpongeBob SquarePants. If not a cold nonsense, be something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants and drop on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, whatever. I guess we could always do strong bad. Do 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 do. All right. All right. Three minutes is almost up. Come on. Let me see here. Oh yeah, by the way, Strong Bad's cool game for protecting people. Oh! Awesome. Okay, we may enter. Yay, after I embarrassed myself there for three minutes on camera. Well, not on camera, but whatever. Did you bring some fly honey? Best Bill's favorite. I brought it. Okay, you may pass through. But hey, be careful. Be sure you don't drop it. These are the enemies I was telling you about. They are very easy to kill, but they give a lot of experience because they attack in numbers. They don't do much damage either. Oh, as soon as I say that, Smash 68. Oh, well. As soon as I say that, I don't do much damage. First attack, Smash. Here, Paul, eat a calorie stick. Get fat. I'll be sure I don't drop it. Now, there's going to be a lot of magic butterflies in here. Oh. Ambush. Wrong room. Oh. Nice. Smash! 255. Kind of a cool number there, 255, because just like a lot of other games at the time, this game was uh, written in hexadecimal for the most part, and uh, there's 255 hexadecimal places, which is why your stats cap at 255. It's also why in the original Zelda you couldn't hold more than 255 rupees, and also why any level past 255 in the original Pac-Man was unbeatable because it glitched. Because it didn't know what to do after 255. Alright, let's just fight these guys. He 
Please say fire. Her for symmetrically attacking. I'm in need of a magic butterfly. Seriously. Turn to the dust of the earth. Just laughed hysterically. Wow, so threatening. We're to level 24. Oh, offense went up by 5. IQ went up by 3. Dang. Max PP went up by 15. And I got healing beta. Badass. Sweet, man. Well, let's see. There's a bomb inside. More bombs. Another back attack, which should just be an auto kill. Yep. Alright. So this is Belch's factory that he's been using, and this must be where all the Mr. Saturns are being kept. Dang! Six of them! Rockin' Alpha, PSI Fire. Jeff, you just shoot. Seven, seven, six, six, seven. Alright, not bad. Boom. 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 Yay, I killed you all. 2622. Awesome. Polly got level up. Polly got leveled up. There's the Mr. Saturns. Erp. It's hard to make gross sounds like Master Bell's just. I know I can't do it. Spelch is the slimiest. However, I heard he's also serving some guy gas guy. I cannot that I cannot believe. So Master Belch is serving guy gas. Apparently guy gas must have promised him some great power or something. Smash! Yeah, you're dead. Again, you know you're a loser when you get smashed by Paula and die. Dang, we're getting level ups right and left. In fact, uh actually I'm gonna go back over here and uh look at something to see what's down here. Oh, that was really smart. Why did I do that? I tried doing brain shock, but it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, Ness can kill him in one hit. Awesome. It doesn't even have to be a smash hit, he just kills him in one hit. Alright, I'd say we're probably strong enough to uh, keep going, though. I just wanted to go and show what's down here. If it's anything. Oh, dang. Four of them. Oh, that's a really weird enemy placement. <laughs> that looks so weird, like the way the enemies are placed. Actually, nah, I'll just bash. Bash with you. And just have Ness kill him. Hopefully I'll find a magic butterfly soon, though, because I'm running kind of low on PP in this part. Something I like is that, um, if you already did something... That's something very mysterious. It didn't work on Jeff. Alright, whatever. It did something very mysterious, whatever. The thing I like about this game, that, like, a lot of old RPGs didn't have, is that if you... Our target, if you have an enemy targeted and they got, get killed in that same turn, uh, your attack just goes on to the next enemy instead of, you know, wasting an attack. Like in the original Final Fantasy. Oh, probably got PSI Fire Beta. That's really going to help with fighting the enemies, like these zombies. Terran Trash Can. Well, let's just see here. There is an IQ capsule inside. We are going to give the IQ capsule to Jeff. Because he can use it the most. His IQ went up by one. Awesome. Broken Laser. We're also giving that to Jeff. We're actually going to put that in Jeff's inventory this time. Okay. Oh, also for anyone who's played Mother 1, this song is a uh, remix from a song of, from Mother 1. It's also a factory song. Um, okay, I've never cut this in a fight before, but I wasn't expecting to find some enemies. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this right here at the end of this fight. So if you enjoyed this part, uh, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Uh, give me a 5-star rating down below this video. And uh, be sure to check out some other parts if you were enjoying this part. Alright, I'll see you guys later. And we're out. Oh, great level. Oh, just max HP went up. Alright, awesome. See you guys later.